What up, baby? Yo, Jungle Beats. I'm Alexander, man. I'm Alexander Sandalis. You know, we're trying to be Australia's plug to the best hip hop and music in the world via these reviews and reactions. Honey. Denzel Curry, would you say he's one of your favorite uh, newer artists in these last couple of years? Definitely, really. Uh, I got into him through Nostalgia 64, but then again, it was just tracks, wasn't huge on the album, but then he dropped uh, 32 Zell um, Planet Mushroom, which was fucking amazing, more the first up, and then Imperial, which ended up being my, one of my favorite albums of the year from last year. So I'm an absolute fan after hearing Imperial. So I'm, I'm, I'm stoked for anything he, fuck, anything he drops, my dick gets hard. So. <laughs> I'm not a, as big as a fan uh, as Alexander Mann over here. Mm -hmm. I respect his work. I love the high tempo nature of his music. I love the aggression. I love the production. And uh, I'll support whatever music he drops and give it a listen. And so, little five track EP here mm -hmm. called 13. Um, 13 EP. Not sure the significance of the title, but it's you fine. know, one person asked us, uh, <laughs> and we both actually like the artist, especially. Hell yeah, I love him. Amen. So, yo, if you ever get a chance to see him live, go see him. Even had a chat to him afterwards. Real down to earth dude. Real high energy shows. Like, oh, and it's such a good time. Such a good time. Go see him live if you can. Nice. Track one Bloodshed. <laughs> Motherfucking Denzel Curry with the motherfucking intro. 13 EP. What a fucking hype way to start this fucking fucking EP, man. Fucking good, I tell you. I'm sorry, mother, I swear way too much. I swear That's a much. banger, man, right there. Rah. That'll bump in the whip as Feast Pro would say. <laughs> Hell Coming yeah. in with that classic Denzel flow over some motherfucking Hard as fuck production. His flow is oh. just infectious. It's like honey. If I was a bee, I'd fuck it. But bees don't fuck honey. I would if I was a bee. You'd find a way. I'd find a way, man. Even if I have to eject my still and go to get there. So yeah. kill yourself. You would I'd, kill yourself. I'd, I'd kill myself to get that bitch. <laughs> That's a great way to start, man. <laughs> Look, I, I'll be honest. I don't know what the fuck he's saying. <laughs> I mean, he's referencing his older song, Ultimate. Cool, cool. Paying homage. Well, Ultimate's his... ULT's his group, his group as well, so... Did you know that Denzel Curry, um... I think Triple X Tentacion was in there. He's a part of his crew. Remember we listened to that? Early days, yeah. Early yeah, days, yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy. So he was part of his crew the early days. ULT, yeah. So we'll constantly mention Ultimate because it's who he stands for. It's what he is. Track two is only a minute and a half. It's called Hate Government. How we do. say much about that one. The fuck I'm gonna say about that one, man? He raps so fast, I don't know what the fuck he be saying. I'm, let me rap genius. I'll tell you like track two and all of a sudden, bah! It, hits, it hits you in the face. I was like, are we watching Transformers right now? Are we watching Inception? We're listening to it. <laughs> Transformers were fucking, that's the sound they'd make. Damn. Let me tell you right there. That's how else they reproduce. They make each other? Probably. All right. Track three, Equalizer featuring Ronnie J, I'm an outro with them. Uh, Okay. 
Well, so far, Denzel's just like, hey guys, I'm just gonna drop an EP and it's just gonna have straight bangers on it. He's gonna hit you in the face with a bunch of bangers. Good feature too. Yeah, you, you know, you said Travis Scott. I was like, I was like, get Travis on this bitch. Um, hold up, because the mic. Um, I said, get Travis on this bitch. And it also reminded me of a hip hop group called, a uh, lesser known group called Goodbye Tomorrow, production wise and vocally, that latter half. If you've mm. heard of them, check them out. What did I do with my scarf? You threw it over uh, the soundproof barrier. There you go, that's how much I like the track. Um, that was dope. Yeah, Ronnie J, good feature there. Really good feature. Love the production once again. Oh. Denzel Curry knows how to. Who produces for Denzel? Does he do it himself? I don't think so. Okay. I think it, a lot of people just crew and also he reaches out to a lot of other people too. Um, it's definitely showing, it's sounding, it's sounding a lot more like 32ZL. If you listen to 32ZL, it had that sort of like, this sort of production, whereas Imperial was different. This, is, this sounds a lot 32ZL to me, but still pretty. There you go, there's these even track called Zeltron 6 billion on there. Hmm. So Zell's like this sort of like, yeah. Ooh, it's got an ugly main feature on there. Palmer's in the building. Chris? Hudson writes raps in the building. Chris? Did someone open the door? Dude, there's motherfucking ghosts in here. Yo, get my Please don't die, man. We haven't finished drinking yeah, the beach. Yeah. Huh? Horror music. Uh, they fucking up. I got the, I got the broom, man. <laughs> you got the broom ready. I ain't fucking up. We about to get robbed. Hell no. <laughs> Fuck that. Uh, track four, second last track, Heartless. <laughs> say the next track's gonna be the biggest banger of them all. <laughs> it's motherfucking called Zeltron Million. But what do you think of Heartless? Because he pitched his vocals a little differently And you there. can hear him actually singing too. Right. So I it was a little different. It. At first I wasn't sure, but then as I kind of like felt it more, I was like, oh, this is fucking nice. I, it's kind of refreshing instead of sticking to the same kind well, yeah. of exact sound every time. You saw the flow, but like the raised pitches and, and the bit of singing as well did it some good. I quite liked it, yeah. You wanna hit the next track? Yeah. <laughs> that door's creepy as fuck, man. Um, Denzel Curry 16 EP. It was dope. Um, really cool feature from Ugly Mane there. I've known Ugly Mane more for his producing. He, I have heard him rap a bit, but he, he rapped on that. It was a 13 EP. Oh, 13 EP. It's because it's 13 minutes? No, it's 15 minutes. Oh. Sorry, go on. Ugly Mane. Yeah, Ugly Mane did his thing, man. He was at home on that beat. I want to know if he produced it as well. It sounded like something he'd produce. But yeah, it's nice to hear him rapping on there as well. Fucking awesome. Yeah, definitely enjoyed his feature right there. Oh yeah, I love the high, the high energy of this this EP, and also the way that towards the end it kind of slowed down a bit as mm. well. I appreciate that too. Yeah, yeah I was yeah. going to say that the, the, sonically it's different. It's not like oh. the hard hitting first three. You switch it up a little bit. First I appreciate that. Three tracks were like 32 Zell last two, something different. That shit was dope. Big fan of Denzel Curry. Big fan of this EP. Uh, definitely looking forward to what he's got got more to do him and his crew just doing doing work right now out there so and like I said if you get a chance to see him live go see him he's fucking awesome 
Yeah, I really like this. It's dope. It's cool. You know, I don't have much to add on that. It's great music to lift to, to run to, to train, exercise to. to. The fuck to if you're into that shit. If you nah, I couldn't fuck that. to this. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's a real, you know, going hard at it. Um, <laughs> nah, it lasts like three seconds. <laughs> I, need, I need slow thrust. If I'm thrusting too quickly, my stamina's gone, man. Yeah, you know, it's, that's what, it's how the porn lies to you. So the porn will lie to the, the youngins. Mm-hmm. The porn lied to me as a youngin. I'm like, oh, this how you supposed to fuck? No, that ain't real life. You know how many cuts they be making? This for the kids, man. Teach yourself how to fuck. Every different woman you're with will be a different way that you fuck. Right, you gotta understand the woman you're with. I mean, we're not experts. I mean, you're ex more expert than me. You've you've (laughs) fucked uh, dozens of women. I don't have those numbers. I hope my mate watch. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Do you want me to not put it in? Nah, it's fine. Put I don't it think your mum's gonna make I've it. I've already talked about Justin Bieber's cock in the last video. <laughs> Let's be honest. I don't think I don't think Sharon Man or Beth Man, your sister, is gonna get up to all the way to the end of this Denzel Curry video. This is true. I just don't think they're that dedicated to watching this. I hope they're not. <laughs> but yeah, learn your woman. Yeah, you know. I mean, you, you can fuck like a porn star, but just fuck like you. Because as much as you want to be enjoying them, you want to make sure you enjoy yourself as well. It's just, it's all about blending both of those worlds. Yeah, you know, see, so Jungle Beats here, you don't just get music, you get life lessons, you know? You get real shit. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, learn to please them before you please yourself. But once you know how to please them, yeah. then you can figure out how to please yourself. You know, cunning lingus is an art. It is. It's an art form, be- man. And then it becomes a lifestyle. And then you crave it. And then you get dental surgery and you can't. And it sucks. Then you go gay and suck dick. Tyler Creator. <laughs> I still don't know, man. I, I'm gonna take a break. And- Meet the motherfucking creature! Flood the basement, kill your idol, light the world on fire! Fire, 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 fire! Flood the basement, kill your idol, light the world on fire! Fire, 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 fire! Flood the basement, kill your idol, light the world on fire, 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 fire.